So today I'm going to talk a little story about real estate agents, bad behavior. So a lot of real estate agents are great. There's normal agents out there everywhere. We're professionals. We do this as our career. We don't ever want to jeopardize our careers and we don't do this kind of stuff. But occasionally there's a bad apple that falls from the tree and you know, it's typical that we see these in the headlines, but you don't always see these in the headlines. And of course, I read the bulletin for North and South Carolina. I read the bulletin, which talks about the agents that do bad stuff. So here are some things that some agents have done that you need to be wary of. But it's it's not something that happens every day. But are, these are just some things that happen. One is agents using a vacant home to have a party. They call it a broker open, but it's not a broker open. It's a party. Sometimes there's hookers and drugs and whatever, or they have a broker open, but it's a party. They have their own personal party in your home. So make sure you're not hiring an agent that's flashy and you have this sixth sense that they're going to do something like that. It's also a good idea to have cameras on your home. So that kind of stuff is not likely to happen. And then there are agents that steal from the trust accounts. It happens almost every month. It's in the back of the bulletin for North Carolina and South Carolina. There are agents that commingle funds. They borrow funds from property management that they're doing um, and they steal their own money, <laughs> the steal the client's money or borrow it and then hope to pay it back someday. So that's all, also something that bad, bad agents do. And those agents lose their license. Both of those types of agents lose their license. You can have, you can have parties and homes. Um, and also you have these agents that are completely mis misrepresenting the property. So the agent knows that something's wrong with the property, yet they do not disclose it. And they have their client telling them to not disclose it. You will get busted something will come out during the home transaction. And if at all the agent knew about the material fact, then they will get busted. They will get re reprimanded, possibly sued, all the above. So these are some things that bad agents do. Um, you know, also bad agents are ones that don't communicate. They crawl under the table when things get hard. You cannot get in touch with them. Uh, they're like a ghost agent. So don't work with these agents. Um, I, I, I buy and sell properties all the time for myself and I buy properties. And if listing agents don't call me back or respond, I don't even look at that property. Um, there are listing agents that suck really bad and they don't answer phone calls or sign calls or realtor calls. And I, you know, I often joke around with my husband that these people are on golf time or beach time or whatever, because they really aren't interested in selling their own listings or property. So you want to work with an agent that doesn't have this bad behavior and answers their phone and answers calls promptly or returns pro calls promptly and also emails or text messages. And so th those are the types of agents you don't want to work with. If you have any questions about